It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where Smudge has found love. Um, he and Sid went on a class trip together in the midst of their puberty and they fell in love. It's really nice. Um, both of them have sort of um, unhappy, I guess, goals with that love. Uh, Smudge would like the relationship to break so that he can be unhappy and single, and Sid would like the relationship to break because she would like three relationships to break, which is why she played the complaint marker to get into that relationship in the first place, um, because she figures if she needs to have three broken relationships, she better get started as soon as possible. And how, how much sooner can you get than puberty, since there is nothing before puberty in this game? More intra-people relationships have occurred between um, Watermelon and Tater as in Tot. In this case, it's sex. They both require sex. Tater as in Tot requires sex with people of the same gender. Um, I don't think anyone else... Uh, I think Smudge tried to get in on that, but uh, she turned him down. So what happened was Smudge and Watermelon both played a complaint marker. So she had to choose one of the two. She went with Watermelon because Watermelon is the same gender and she would like to come out of the closet. And I guess you have to have sex before you come out of the closet. I don't know why that is, but let's go to Cowboy. Cowboy is about to um, meet one of his goals, I think, if I recall. Okay, so he's got, he's had sex. He's got that. Yes, I forgot to add this here. I don't know what happened there. Why is it, did it get bumped? Sometimes when I walk by the cards, they bump down and knock things out. I got, let me figure out what happened. I'm, I'm keeping a record with the cards of what happened to them so I can recreate it if I need to, which is kind of a nice way to you know, have a, a biography of the people when we're done. I remember what had happened. I had thought that you could just, I thought you could just take this immediately, but then I realized you can't, you have to do it as an action. So I had already adjusted some things and then I think it also got bumped. So he is um, poor but happy and that's really nice for him. That gives him a little bit of spirituality there and realize what's important in life. After Sid became sad uh, from love and uh, found philosophy through that, Watermelon's the first to duck out of puberty. So she's done with puberty. Um, the rest are gonna just keep playing the round unless people drop out and then we'll go on to the next phase of the game. Kaz and Cat's turn. Okay, here we are in our young adulthood phase. Um, this game I will say so far is kind of an annoying game to play solitaire uh, for a couple reasons. One, these complaint markers. So when someone decides to do something or they, they get a card, in puberty they could just get it, but now we're going to be doing something else. I'll explain that in a second. When someone tries to get a card, Someone, people can uh, call them, I guess, is what the complaint, that's what the complaint means, is they're calling them on the phone or they're saying, no, I get, I want to come along. Um, so for every time, like, someone tries to do something, I have to decide if everyone else wants to do something uh, to, to try to piggyback on. It's just not super fun to do games with, like, real-time interrupts. Of, of any sort. So it has that. It also has auctions, which I, I don't particularly enjoy, uh, especially in solitaire. It's just not a fun thought process for me to go through. But I'll do it. I'll do it. So here we have, um, I haven't looked up what any of these mean, but this one looks like Learn Esperanto, um, Sex in a Car. Uh, I don't know what that is. But it looks like you're getting married, right? Maybe that's eloping or some sort of marriage. Halloween, I'm thinking. Um, carnival. Um, maybe a trip to the Arctic. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. So Watermelon was first to step out last time, so that gave her six time. If you step out first of the round, then you get the most currency. Um, she could have fulfilled this, but she's actually going to fulfill this now, because then that will free her up to get fat and sick if she needs to, which she will need to get fat, and this will cause her to get sick. 
um, there. All right. The actions aren't always so tough. Since not everyone meets the requirements, I don't actually have to think about what everyone would do. In this case, Cow is the only one who met the requirements for this card, so she could just take it. Pretty simple for her. That makes her, she can now be like a sicko or something, um, which is great. There was a bit of trouble in paradise um, between uh, Smudge and Sid. He's right there. They're engaged, I believe. Um, as to who would get to go to the carnival, he bid more time than she was really willing to bid. So he is used up all his time. He only had two since he was the first player, and I think the last... Oh, no, the, the, the second to last to step out. So he's pretty much out for the round. I don't think he qualifies for any of his stuff either, but he'll be able to step out on his next turn um, and get the most time, provided no one else steps out first. After a string of weddings, Cowboy got married to Frolk, and Sid got married to um, uh, Smudge. Uh, Watermelon, she's the first to, to step out again, so she's sitting on a pretty pile of time here. Uh, the next life phase, she should be able to get whatever she likes. Okay, everyone has stepped out except for Kaz and Cat and Taters and Tot. Uh, Kaz and Cat outbid Taters and Tot on a card. Um, Taters and Tot, none of these cards are useful to her. So she was going to step out. So she would get two time. She took them from Kaz and Cat. Kaz and Cat's last two. So Kaz and Cat's not going to be able to get anything on these. Um, but she is going to be able to get this thing, I believe, right? Because she's got the wisdom, the spirituality, and the drug use. So she gets, she's done her second goal. So I think she's currently in the lead now with two goals. Um, but no time, so no resources. So she's pretty much just going to have to step out next time. Uh, she gets a money and a new friend. Um, does anyone want to be her friend? Friends are kind of a, a big deal right now. So someone might want to use a complaint. I don't think you can use a complaint on that end. Never mind. She has to get a generic friend, and that's going to be this guy. She's been holding out on not getting that guy. Because kind of scares her. We'll see you next time on The Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Merchant, where we will be exploring a new phase of life.